Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we are integrating by substitution, so we can answer questions from exercise 11e. We've divided this section up into two separate videos, the beginner section and the advanced section. So here is the first introduction to integration by substitution. And this is how we're going to do it. There's lots of different steps to this, so make sure you're paying attention the whole way through. Using the substitution, u is equal to 2x plus 5. Calculate the integral of the square root of 2x plus 5 dx. Okay, so there are four steps mostly uh, when you do integration by substitution. The first thing to do is put u in as your integral. Now when you do that, you're going to have to correct the letter that's at the front, because if you've now got a u in your integral, you're going to want du at the end. So we'll see how to do that later. Then we're going to calculate the integral, and then we have to put the substitution back in. We want our answers with x in them, not u's in them. So we'll start with the integral of the square root of 2x plus 5 dx. And we'll first substitute in u equaling 2x plus 5. So in this case here, we've now just got the square root of u, but this dx at the end is a bit of an issue. We, if we're integrating the u function here, we need du, so that we're integrating with respect to the correct letter. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to go back to our substitution. A lot of this question does revolve around uh, this substitution here. What we're going to do is we are going to create the dx by differentiating this substitution here. So it's going to be du by dx is equal to 2. And rearranging this a little bit to make dx the subject, if we times by dx and divide by the 2, we get dx equals a half du. So in the question here, we're going to replace dx with a half du. So it's going to get replaced like that. And these two components here are effectively being multiplied together. Now, when we've got a half uh, inside as a scale factor, we can pull it out to the front. We can kind of factorise this half to the front. Uh, it's not really useful in the question. We can times it back in at the end. And remember, with square roots, it's better to turn it into an indice so that we can increase the power by 1 divided by the new power. And now we're integrating as well with respect to the correct letter du. So let's now go ahead and calculate the integral. We are increasing the power by 1 to 3 over 2 and dividing by this 3 over 2. When you divide by 3 over 2, you times by 2 over 3 plus c. And you can expand the brackets as well. And you're going to substitute back in your substitution for u equaling 2x plus 5. So it's going to be 2's cancel out here and here. 1 third 2x plus 5 to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. OK, so that's all there is to it, really. If you're going to get this question wrong, you're probably going to have forgotten that you need to replace the dx with du. So make sure you that you emphasize that as an important part of integration by substitution so that you never forget to do that component of the question. Next question here is very similar. Integral of 3x plus 7 to the power of 6. Now, what do we suspect the substitution might be here? Well, in previously, we replaced the inside of the square root with u, and we're going to do pretty much exactly the same here. We're going to, in, we're going to set um, u equal to the inside of this power of 6. So we're going to use a substitution of u equals 3x plus 7. Now we need to replace the dx. So we take our substitution, differentiate it, and rearrange it a little bit. So we get dx equals a third du. So now we replace the dx with a third du. And in this case here, we'll now factorize the third to the front. And now we can do the integration. It's u to the power of 7 divided by 7 uh, and times that by a third. And now we're going to expand the brackets, timesing these fractions together and replace u with what u was. That was 3x plus 7. So it's a 21st bracket, uh, 3x plus 7 to the power of 7 plus c. OK, so relatively straightforward so far. Increasing the level of difficulty here a little bit more now. Now we've got the 2x plus 5 that we had inside the square root, but we've got this extra x on the outside here. So let's see how we might tackle that. Now we'll substitute in u equals 2x plus 5, just into the 2x plus 5 bit first. We'll leave this x at the front for now. <clears throat> now what we're going to do next 
is to replace this x here, we're going to rearrange this substitution here. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides and divide by 2 on both sides. So we're going to replace x with u minus 5 all over 2. So now it's u minus 5 over 2 times the square root of u dx. We're now going to have to replace this dx. So take your substitution and differentiate it, rearrange it to get dx as the subject. So replace dx now with a half du. Now in this question here, we've got a half on the bottom here and a half inside this du here. Now what we can effectively do here is factorise out a quarter to take these fractions out of the question and help simplify the problem for us. We're going to turn the square root of u into u to the power of a half and now we'll expand the brackets. Now we're at this stage here, we can now integrate these components separately. So it's going to be u to the 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2 minus 5, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. And eventually, if you were to simplify all of this, uh, simplifying your fractions and substituting u back into what u was, this here would be your final answer. Right then, your turn to have a go at these two questions here then. Hopefully that all made sense. Um, your substitutions, I'll let you think about what those substitutions are going to be yourself. So pause the video and try these two questions out. Okay, so for the first one here, the substitution we're going to use is replacing the things that are inside the square root with, well, we're not going to do that, it's just going to be u equals 5 minus 3x. So let's replace that into the integral. It's going to be 1 over u square rooted dx. And now the important thing here is to remember to replace the dx with a du. So we're going to differentiate the substitution to give us minus 3 and then rearrange this to get dx equals minus a third du. So in this case here, the next line is going to be replacing dx with minus a third du. Uh, we're, I've replaced the 1 over the square root of u with an indice. The half is the fact it's a square root. The minus indice indicates that it's uh, on the bottom of a fraction. So what I'll do next is I'll factorise out the negative third to the front so I don't have any numbers inside my integral apart from that indice. And then I'll start doing the integration. So in this case here, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. We're increasing the minus half to positive half and dividing by a half, which is 2, plus c. And now the final thing to do will just be to expand the bracket, simplify the fractions, and substitute our substitution back in. So it's going to be minus 2 thirds, bracket 5 minus 3x, all square rooted, let's put square root around it, plus c. Perfect. Next question here, your substitution is going to be u equals 3x plus 1. The thing inside the awkward bracket, we don't really want to have to expand that, uh, maybe using the binomial expansion, we just want to replace it with the letter u. And we've got this x here at the front, so we're actually going to have to replace that as well with u minus 1 over 3, just by rearranging our substitution there. So, in goes u minus 1 over 3 times by u to the power of 4, and then it's dx. Now the next thing we're going to have to do is replace this dx with uh, du. So in this case here, um, take our substitution and differentiate it. So in this question here, it's quite difficult because you are integrating at the same time as you are on the side differentiating. So just make sure that you do uh, concentrate at this point in time um, to make sure that you are doing the correct process. So we get a third du as our replacement for dx here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize out now uh, I'll factorise out the third from the bottom of this fraction here, so I've just got u minus 1, uh, u to the power of 4, and then replacing the dx, I get a third du. Now, I'll probably take this extra third out to the front as well. I don't really want fractions inside my uh, integral, uh, so I can get rid of that to the front, so it's 1 ninth now at the front, and I'll expand these brackets as well. u to the 5 minus u to the 4 du. And now is a good time to do our integration. It's going to be 1 6th 
sorry, one sixth u to the power of six minus one fifth u to the power of one fifth. And then I think what we'll do is we'll expand the brackets and replace u with three x minus one. So it's going to be one fifty fourth three x minus one to the power of six minus one forty fifth. 3x minus 1 to the power of 5 plus c. There we, oops, we've missed the plus c on above. There we are. So that's how we do the basic types of integration by substitution. There are a few questions like this in the textbook. It would probably be worth now moving on to the advanced section if you're feeling comfortable with this. Thanks very much for watching.